Hi you guys, it is your coach Heather Tucker here and I just got off of our team meeting for Beachbody and I don't know if you can see but my nose is all red and my eyes are like puffy from crying. God just totally used that meeting to speak to me and so I had to come and share it with you guys because I felt like if it hit me that hard that it would probably hit you guys the same and maybe somebody else out there needs to hear it too. Um, so today we actually talked about belief, belief in ourselves, belief in what we have to offer the world, um, belief that when we start on a mission to health that we can complete it, that we are worth the efforts that we're putting in. And a lot of times, the way that we grew up or the people that were in our lives, um, maybe a mom, a dad, brother, sister, uh, other family members, friends at school, non-friends at school, um, you know, maybe they spoke in neg negative, in negativity into our lives and um, we're holding on to those things and we've heard them so much over our life that we start believing them, you know, and I have struggled with this so much over the years. Um, I grew up in a family where my mom was very positive. She always believed in me, always. And I swear, if I did not have my mom in my life, for as many things as I went through as um, a new teenager, you know, especially in uh, seventh grade was probably my hardest school year um, ever. Um, I would just... I was kind of growing into my own and didn't know what that was. Um, had to wear glasses and I got made fun of a lot and I was isolated a lot. I didn't have a lot of friends and so I would choose whoever would talk to me which wasn't always you know the good crowd to hang out with. Um, and so my mom decided to pull me out of public school and put me into a Christian school. She thought that would be the best thing for me. Now, I'm not against Christian schools, but my experience for six months there was worse <laughs> than a public school. Uh, oh my gosh, it was the most clickiest experience that I ever had. And um, these kids had been growing up together since like preschool, which is probably the main reason they all knew each other. And I was coming in as this outsider trying to make friends and, you know, there was some jealousy in the girls and, um, you know, and different things like that. And so, um, I got talked down to a lot. I used to get told by my peers that I was unworthy of their friendship, um, go back to from where you came from, which was very, very hurtful. I used to fake being sick just to get out of being around those kids. I'd go to the nurse's station and my mom um, was at the school teaching music and so I knew that if I went to the nurse that she would, you know, be called and could come get me. And so this went on for six months. So I've had periods like that in my life where um, you know, people would talk down to me and it just completely tore away my um, self-worth and confidence. Um, God, even my own dad, unfortunately, was um, very negative and talked down and would say things like, you better not eat that, you're going to get fat. And so those are the types of things that really got me more aware of my body and, um, you know, what I was putting into it. Um, so as I got older, I would hide food, you know, and wouldn't let people know I was eating like a ding dong or something in my bedroom. And I'd, um, had a secret stash of my trash from those things. So, um, fast forward growing up, um, you know, I, I went through several relationships, um, trying to just fill that void that I felt from people not accepting me and loving me. Um, and 
you know, we all do it. I know I've talked to so many people that fill their life with a relationship. It just doesn't work. <laughs> that person is always going to fail. You know, they're not, that's, you're, they're human. They're not perfect, right? So they're always going to fail you in some way or another, even if they're a really nice person. So I did that for years and years, trying to just find my self-worth. I, I had the hardest time finding um, my worth, why I was here, why I was even created, you know, why, why I was on this earth. Um, and after high school, I um, had a couple of relationships that um, were very close to getting marriage, you know, material. But um, I ran away from them. So I screwed up the relationship on purpose. Um, you know, they broke up with me. I ran away from commitment, basically. And probably part of, or the main part of it, which I didn't really realize at the time, was because my parents had gotten divorced when I was 17. And so I think I was just really scared of that happening. Um, and then I met my now ex-husband, and when I was married to him, he was very, very mean, very abusive, talked down to me all the time. And so I constantly had this, um, this life of wanting to believe in myself. I knew inside that I had something to give, something of worth to somebody, but it seemed like no matter what relationship I was getting into, um, that that person kept pouring negative into me, constantly beating me down, beating me down, beating me down, um, trying to beat out, it's like they were trying to beat out the positive that I was trying to bring in, you know, to my life. Um, and by that time, I had become a born-again Christian, but the people that like my ex and other people I was hanging out with, they um, had self-limiting beliefs themselves. And so I was just kind of running with this crowd where we were all negative. We were all um, <laughs> had that lack of vision for moving forward, you know, in our lives. Um, uh, this whole time, all throughout all the, the years, my mom was always that bright light for me. And, um, I loved being able to pick up the phone and just talk to her about what was going on because she always filled me with God's love and with God's acceptance and reminded me of who I was in Him constantly. <laughs> and um, mm -hmm. so slowly over the years, especially after I got divorced from my ex and I met my now husband Chuck, um, and Chuck really helped God used Chuck to help bring in more positive into my life because he really, he really is. He's awesome. Um, but what really has helped to add to my belief system in myself is um, there's one scripture in the Bible, Psalms 139, and God talks about how he knew us. He knew us before um, our parents even conceived us. So to me, that means that no matter how many times in my head I think I might be a mistake or I don't have something to give to the world or um, I feel unworthy of love or whatever, that knowing that God basically thought of me, thought of you, um, before he even laid the foundation of the earth, he knew that he was going to create you. He already knew your parents. He already knew the people that were going to be your parents. He knew the life that you were going to be planted into. The emotional baggage that your parents might have had. Um, the situation, the living situation, the financial situation. He knew the situation he had to put you into so that you would be exposed to things and grow as a person so that you could end up becoming the person that he created you to be for the purpose that he made for you. All of us have our own purpose, you guys, all of us. I always knew growing up that um, I love to help people, 
um, people always used to come to me for advice, you know, tell me their problems, um, and I would just be that, you know, encourager, uh, cheerleader kind of person. Well, last year, um, when I decided to become a Beachbody coach, little did I know that what I just came naturally for me in that area would be transferred and used to then build up other people and um, that's what he's doing you know he's using all of my gunk my junk that I had in my life that I hate and sometimes in my life I'm like why did this have to happen to me well God is using that for his glory like I can see everything has had its purpose because now I run into people that have had the same experiences and I'm able to um, help them and share my experience and how God has helped to use that situation to shape me and to mold me. and so. One thing as a coach that you guys need to remember because I struggle with this too. We all have different chapters in our life, okay? I might be on chapter three in my coaching career. You might be on chapter one. Uh, someone else might be on chapter five, you know? Um, do not compare your chapter one with someone else's chapter five because you might be at the beginning you might be a baby coach and you might be looking at someone in the top five of the company not understanding that they also used to be a baby coach and have had to go through several different ups and downs to get to where they're at right now so you have to remember to go through the process and know that you will um, get to a certain point. So if you're wanting top five, you can get there. You will get there. I believe that you will get there. If that's your goal, shoot, go for it, run, okay? And I'm gonna run with you. Um, if that is your goal and you wanna be top 10 and you wanna be a millionaire and you want you know, to get out of financial debt and you want to take care of your family. You can do that with this business, you guys. You can. Um, but you have to believe in yourself. You have to. Because if you have that self-limiting belief, you're going to just sabotage yourself and not allow it to happen, okay? Um, so we can look at what somebody else might have or where they're at right now. Um, but we don't want to actually become them because each of us have our own story to share with people. So my story is going to be different than yours. Um, you can be inspired by them to be like a better you, but don't ever try and become someone else because all that's going to do is rob you of the joy that you have. Um, and so having those self-limiting ideas about yourself does keep you from a life filled with belief in who you were created um, to be. So, during the meeting today, um, I think her name's Lauren, Lauren Duke, she said that God is faithful and that he will bring people into your life to speak truth over you. And I want to be here today as your coach, as your friend. If you're not on my team yet, as your friend. Um, I want to speak truth today. Today is Wednesday. Um, April the 8th Facebook has me blocked right now so I'll have to upload this tomorrow but um, I believe in you you have amazing strength okay you might have gone through some crap in your life but you're not done you it doesn't mean that you are um, weak in any way shape or form it just means that you are growing your testimony you're going to be like five years down the road and looking back and being like wow god look at what you took me through and i'm a better person for it thank you yeah it might have been hard 
you know, and you might not have had fun during hard times, but um, it, God has his purpose, you know, and he's going to use everything for his glory. So just believe in that. I believe in you as a friend. I believe in you as your coach. Um, don't have self-limiting and self-sabotaging beliefs in yourself, okay? You are worth everything you are worth the efforts you put in on your fitness you are worth the efforts you put into yourself to develop yourself you know by spending time in personal development um, you're worth the person that you are becoming so please don't give up on yourself I will never give up on you guys you mean the world to me just just the fact that you know, we have the social media that even allows us to do this, to build people up, um, to help other people, to add value to their lives. It's crazy. It's, it's like crazy awesome. And I'm glad that I'm here um, to be able to help you guys. And I pray and hope you understand that you've also been placed on this earth to help others. So look for those doors. Look for those windows that have been opened to you to help somebody else and add value to their lives and um, it's going to make a huge impact on our world okay this is a long video but I love you guys and I hope that um, you know that and that I will continue to believe in you and run with you with your goals and dreams okay take care bye bye